We are building a cross architecture disk image for ARM64 using FAI. In the file guide, we have a chapter about cross building disk images where all the commands are listed. First, we need to install some packages, the file packages, and some QEMU packages. Then we need a uh, file configuration space, which is created using the file make config space command. We set a variable for fetching base files, which are pre created and available on the file project side. The command file disk image will build a disk image about 2 gigabyte with a list of classes we define and the output file is arm64.raw this starts the file process which partition the disk image and then extracts the base file which was downloaded from the file project website and then inside this disk image we install additional packages. The packages are read from a directory package config. They are downloaded and installed. You can already see that the ARM64 architecture packages are selected. The init RD is created. And some additional packages are added to the disk image and in the end local customization scripts are executed this installation is taking about 380 seconds And even the disk image was 2 gigabyte, we only filled 1.1 gig inside the disk image. Now we change the owner of the raw disk image because we want to start QEMU as a normal user. We also have to copy the kernel and the initRD to a directory because QEMU for ARM does not use a grub bootloader, we just boot. The virtual machine using kernel and init rd uh, we qemu simulates uh, cortex a57 uh, and we have some kernel append parameter which are typical for arm architecture The creation of the disk image is run on an Intel i7 with up to 3.7 GHz. We use a lot of RAM in slash TMP, so the whole disk image is stored in RAM. During the first boot up, new SSH keys are generated for the SSH daemon. The machine started, so we can log in. The account is root, the password is FAI. As you see, we have a 4.9 ARM kernel running on an 
ARC64 architecture and also the executable are ARM64 executables. We just created one single partition and in the local customization scripts we also created a demo account which also has the password FAI and you can log in the machine and now we shut down the virtual R machine which was just built using the new Phi version 5.4 You will find the man page of the phi disk image command on the phi web page.